Now, from the KQ2 Weather Desk, your KQ2 Local Weather Authority forecast with meteorologist Vanessa Alonso, sponsored by East Ridge Car Wash. Yeah, it's definitely that time of the year where all of the severe weather is, you know, making, making its presence known. Helene is going to be moving through and will likely be feeling some of that. So, you know, enjoy the, the nice weather today while we have it. Yeah, Courtney, we are getting quiet weather here across Northwest Missouri and Northeast Kansas. Usually around this time of the year, our weather pattern is pretty quiet for us while the tropics really get going. And we have the proof here this morning with Helene. Now, over the last several hours, I've been noticing watching the infrared satellite. This storm is getting its act together. It is now going through an intensification process. And I would not be surprised if this becomes a hurricane very shortly when the National Hurricane Center issues its next advisory. Of course, I'll be keeping you all updated through social media throughout the day on that. But currently, Helene is holding on as a tropical storm with winds at 65 miles per hour. It is going to intensify rapidly once it moves over the very warm waters of the Gulf into a major Category 3 hurricane by tomorrow before it makes landfall over the Florida Panhandle, Big Bend region, heading into Thursday night into Friday. Then Helene is quickly going to weaken into a remnant low as it moves over Georgia into the Tennessee Valley region. Now, depending on its track, is going to determine how much rain we're going to be seeing from the system come late Friday into Saturday. Of course, we'll be watching things and keeping you updated on that. We did have a cold front that pushed through here yesterday afternoon that brought us showers, even some thunderstorms that packed a punch with some hail and wind, especially in areas like Maryville. But for us here now, all is quiet thanks to high pressure taking over our weather, which means quiet, tranquil weather conditions and pleasant temperatures. Look at this shot from our Reed Auto Plaza camera overlooking the south side of St. Joe as daylight starting to peek through. It is a little chilly though, upper 40s to the 50s as you're heading out the door. So many of you will be needing the sweaters as you're heading out the door to work in school. Across other parts of the KQ2 viewing area, currently 55 in Maryville, 52 in Cameron, 51 in Fall City, 54 in Kansas City. Heading into the day today, we'll quickly warm up into the 70s, heading into the afternoon with, more, with mostly sunny skies once the patchy fog burns off. Over the next 24 hours, High pressure is going to be our dominant weather pattern. And again, our rain chances for the weekend will determine on how far east Helene goes once it makes landfall in Florida. For today, 78 for the high, mostly sunny. Overnight lows tonight will fall to around 50 degrees, mostly clear. And in your seven day forecast, we could be hitting 80 degrees heading into Thursday, Friday and into the weekend. Courtney, next week, mostly sunny. Very nice to be outside as we are expecting fall-like pleasant conditions across the area. Definitely, Vanessa. Thank you.